All right, <clears throat> so we're back once again. This video, I'm going to go over how to use Juggle Float. Um, I know a lot of the new players um, in one of the discords that I'm in um, had expressed that they don't know, you know, how to use the move, which is fairly understandable because it, it's used for everything, offense and defense, and you know, anything in between, right? So the first application that I want to go over with is that it's a good anti-fireball tool. So this is so so float, and just in my opinion, um, I think float is really integral against um, fireball characters. So I don't so I don't know how many people know this, but how fireballs work in Street Fighter and I guess like some other games that when you throw a fireball, when you when you throw when you throw a fireball well somebody's following me on twitch and i'm not even live it's crazy thank you whoever you are um so like i was saying so like whenever you throw a fireball you can't throw another one until the first one leaves the screen so with that being said float is good to to disrupt people's fireball cadence and then you can find an opening that way so exhibit a See? See? So normal, so normal situation, gal. He throws a sonic boom, I block it, he throws another one. Alright? But check this out. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get the second one because the first one is still on the screen. So this is very good to like throw off their fireballs. And like make them have execution errors and then from there you can kind of go from there right and then also is and then also as far as you know going in so as you see you're at a fixed height and also there's two versions so there's the down and so there's down and kicks and then there's down forward and kicks if you do down forward he kind of lunges forward to kind of close to kind of close in on the opponent so you get access to all of his air normals like so so it depends right so if you want to go in from this angle this is a very good approach right the heavy punch So you can like do con so like you can do a hit confirm from from like re really far away. Why is it not working? Okay. That in combo, but there we go. So it's very good to approach. From certain distances like this is very deceptive like the range on this is very deceptive like people like from, from like from the matches that I've played like people get hit by this a good bit because I'm thinking they're not expecting it to hit them from that far because it looks like it doesn't really go that far but it goes farther than it looks Like really from really like so you can kind of poke with this from safe distances, but as with all things in fighting games, if you get too predictable with 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 your options, then you're gonna get punished, right? So you know you can kind of mix it up as far as offense is concerned. This is really good to like catch people trying to jump over you. The roundhouse. This is a really good anti-air. If they're trying to like snuff, jump over, jump over you or try to snuff you out, this is really good. Okay. Um, also, so for, so for example, let's just say, let's just say, for, let's just say, for example, I mess up and I get put in the corner, right? So. Now this isn't now this isn't going to work all the time, but it's good to kind of 
play with your opponent this way. So let's say, for instance, you get put in the corner and you get an opportunity to jump. You can jump back and float and stall there for a second. So, so, the, so the reason why I say stall in the air because you kind of want to see what they're gonna do. Like you kind of want to see what their reaction is gonna be. So if they try to like jump up and get you in the air, you could teleport away, and then you're out, right? Or you can do stuff like um, like Comet. I don't really know if Comet's really good in this particular situation. Because it doesn't hit them. But then it'll it'll hit them if you, if you float lower. But you're kind of like more like more in their box of attack. This is good because like they almost always have to jump to get you. Like right here, they don't have to jump to get you. They can just do a button and they can knock you out of there. But right here, they like most cases they have to jump. So when they leave the ground, that's when that's your cue to get out. Now this doesn't work all the time, but it's still good to have it. It's it's it's, it's still good to have this technique at your disposal, because like I said in my last video, like you don't want to be like you don't want to be here in this game anyway. But if you but if you do end up in the corner, this is something that you can consider. Right. Um, and then also. Like like I was saying earlier with the comment, you can use this. You can use this to start your mix up. Right. So same thing here. Like you can be at this height to try to like plan your escape out of the corner, but you can also be at this height. To start comet pressure teleport right so that's so that's a good way um i'm trying to think what else um those are like the prime examples like to um avoid fireballs um to escape the corner in certain certain situations um and then starting offense right um and then and then also and then also just in general like this is just good to just because like your like your mobility is buffed when you're in this mode because you're already in the air so you have access to more um i won't say more but you but you have access to a lot of tools while you're in this state right so like you can you can you can go offense you can go defense go away Right? Just kind of keep your opponent on their toes. Right? So don't overthink it. Just use floats in situations where it's appropriate. Hopefully this video is a good outline to kind of give you guys an idea of when to use float. But honestly, it's going to be a case-by-case -case scenario. Like, this character is not the type of character where it's like, you do this and it's it works for every situation. Like, he has very nuanced, he has a very nuanced toolkit. You know, especially for a beginner, right? Um, so I just wanted to make this video pretty short. I didn't want to go too super in depth. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I definitely appreciate all you guys' support. I'm just trying to make content for you guys so that way I can get better, you guys can get better. Um, you know, you guys can add on to what you know I'm showing you guys. You know, and vice versa. If you guys are posting stuff, you know, I like to take a look and see, um, you know, what can I do? As a matter of fact, the the combo concept video that I did, that I posted yesterday, um, someone in the Discord had posted a tech video. And I just, you know, took that idea and made it my own. So, um, yeah. So, thanks again. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.